Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a product review of my little giraffes. Look at those giraffes, aren't they gorgeous? Smiley faces. And I'm going to kick down and put all my diamonds drills away. Okay, but uh, yeah, I've enjoyed doing this one. It was really fun. Um, what I did, I did the outsides first and got sort of like the basic colours, the whites, the greys done first and then I left the giraffes to the end and I just love it on diamond painting where the picture just comes together towards the end and then you step back when you've finished and you just think, wow, I did that and uh, yeah, it's a wonderful picture I love all the different shading in the giraffes' coats there are different markings, the eyes have come out really well this one's even got eyelashes, look, if you can see there can just see this one she's this whippy girl she's got eyelashes and then this one's here looks smiling away and oh we've got an eyelash there as well and there are little horns on their head there and their ears but yeah the detail I mean to say this is just a 30 by 30 the detail on this is just wonderful you know you've got all your trees in the background there and the sparkle is just great love it absolutely love it don't know if you can catch the sparkle there uh, I think you'll find with most diamond paintings the sparkle in real life is just wonderful. Again, it's already framed up for me, stretched onto uh, a frame, so I can just hang this up straight away. So at the moment, I think it will just stand on my shelf until I decide what uh, I'm doing with it, where I'm going to put it. Um, I've got uh, like a collage of different ones that I want to put together, try and keep them in theme. So obviously, this is like a jungly theme but uh, yeah it's uh, it was good to do um i worked on this one with the plastic cover on the craft buddy send rather than taking it off and putting um my release papers on now i found it didn't make any difference i did have some patches where it wasn't as sticky again as others um so it seemed to be more in the middle i wonder if the machine had just not quite put as much glue in the middle uh, it wasn't a problem I, I did manage to complete my painting and um, it just means it sometimes takes a bit longer for you to put the drill down because it tends to stay on the pen rather than going onto the canvas because the canvas isn't quite uh, as sticky as it should be uh, now we've got the magic glue of course you can just put a little bit of magic glue on there if you need to um, but certainly it wasn't because there was any dust or anything on it and it wasn't because I'd lent on it um, so yeah, it is something I will uh, pass on to uh, Crystal Art, Craft Buddy Crystal Art and just let them know that it wasn't quite as uh, sticky as I would have liked but it's not affected the painting. The drills, once they're on, they're not going anywhere. Um, I just have like a brayer, a roller that I go over the canvas with uh, once I've completed it just to make sure that they're all stuck down which they were you know no popping no drills coming off or anything so you know there's no problems with that um but yeah it, it was fun to do this one and i do like the end result so i think it, looking at the picture now because of the colors at this side particularly you get like that depth of field it feels as though it's really 3d and the giraffe is really in the front and all the trees are right in the back there really does uh, show up nicely that one so i don't like the giraffes okay so let's uh, get on with putting our drills away okay i've had a few colors left i've got my key code there that will go in my log book and i'll put uh, possibly cut the picture out of the box i've decided i'm not going to keep my boxes i'm just going to use pictures from my boxes um to put into my log books to put those away. I'll just leave that in there for now, but let's get on with putting these drills away. I didn't run out of drills. There was uh, plenty left on all of them and I managed not to spill any this time. So that makes a big difference as well. So let's get box number one and get started. Just grab my trays where I've put them. the orange weighted tray and we're going to box one and just get these 
all put away so these are all round so they'll go into my round storage and my first colour is 165 so let's grab that one and um, if you've not seen me de-kitting before or kitting up then this storage system with drills is uh, Rebecca for kids at 147 I will put the link to her YouTube video and her website there because it's her idea and um, I'm not going to do any videos on showing you how to set this up or whatever because Rebecca's just the best at doing it so you know credit to Rebecca and you know watch her videos she's very very clever very good at doing it okay so let's get these put away put that up there get this into onto there oops there's a don't seem to have as much room today don't know what's going on okay oops they'll just tip into there Few different shade variations on that one but that's okay so we don't mind we can uh, find the one we need if we need to and the next one is 166 okay so that's the next one along okay I want the round one that's so uh, quite a different color again okay I've no nails at the moment I have been using my Sally Hansen Miracle Growth, but unfortunately it's not been doing brilliantly. Um, I am still struggling, but I will get there. I will get some nails back into some sort of order. I had another look at those false nails again and I just laughed when I took them out of the packets because I honestly don't think I'll be able to do anything with them. And uh, I'm li liable to cause some sort of mischief or injury if I do wear them. So uh, I think they'll possibly go to uh, the children or grandchildren to use up. <laughs> okay, oh, I've got an extra. What have I done there then? Why have I put them? Oh, I must have that bag still downstairs. Okay, so I'll put those in this bag for now. Yeah, I think, ah, I know. These are the ones that I spilt uh, grey on my grey carpet. I can't remember which one I was doing. It might have been this one actually. Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. Which one was I doing and I spilt all the grey drills? I can't remember. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, um, so I had to use my spares. So that's that one. Okay, just put those in there for now and I'll have to have a hunt. Probably I've got a little trolley that I keep all my diamond painting stuff in that I'm using downstairs. Um, so it's probably on there somewhere. Four, three, three. It's a brown colour. Yep, got some of those. Okay, we're having a lovely weather at the minute, so it is very, very hot in here at the moment with the uh, door closed. And uh, I've got Millie laid on my feet. Millie's our little Scotty dog. Uh, because she's really warm as well, but she has to be in, she has to know what I'm doing and what's happening. So she's uh, laid on my feet and uh, making me hotter. <laughs> I've taken my socks and my slippers off, so I've got bare feet to try and keep a bit cooler. Because I think somebody said if the top of your head and your feet are cool, then it keeps you cooler. But then having a Scotty dog laying on your feet, all that fair and warmth isn't making me any cooler. <laughs> Okay, four, three, five is the next one. I've got a few of those as well. So I hope everybody's keeping well. So it's bank holiday weekend here in the UK. And uh, for once we have got nice weather, which makes a change. It's usually raining as soon as the children break up from school. The heavens usually open. It's four, three, six. And we just get downpours and downpours and downpours, and it's terrible. Yep, that one's that one. And then uh, they end up playing inside, but they're all playing out at the minute. And uh, poor Millie is uh, out in the garden on a night evening and just nose in the air, sniffing everybody else's barbecues. And uh, it must be torture when you're a dog because they've got better noses than we have, and here smelling people. Uh, barbecuing all that lovely meat must uh, drive you wild <laughs> okay, I think we're just going to have a, a pizza and salad for tea just something quick and easy 
Um, hubby's not been feeling brilliant. We've had the nurse again today. She comes every other day. And uh, he keeps being a bit poorly, so just have to keep an eye on him. Now then, is that 581? Yeah, that's the right colour. Okay. So I don't want anything too stodgy as such, and you can just maybe nibble on a slice. We just get margarita pizzas, and then if we want to put anything else on, we can do. Um, but I must admit, I'm a bit of a cheese freak. I don't like my cheese. So if it's just got cheese on it, I'm quite happy. <laughs> okay, so up to 712. So I'll have a look. 712 is a nice creamy colour. Okay, there's a nice diamond. I don't think there was much trash, if anything, in these, to be fair. There was an odd big bit, I think, in one. Um, but nothing major so they're nice quality drills um, bit of fun to work on i must admit i am quite a fan of 738 i am quite a fan of smaller paintings rather than doing the huge ones because i like to see them finished quick and um, i do keep thinking i ought to get a huge one and have a go but uh, at the moment i do just quite enjoy doing the smaller ones and doing lots of smaller ones but it's each to its own you know i mean i do admire these people that get these huge ones and spend months doing them i don't know whether i could do that i'm too impatient i would probably just spend nights and nights sitting up doing it until it was done um which isn't really the thing to do <laughs> but they do look spectacular when they're done as well Plus, to be fair, I've not really got the room in this house, the wall space, and it would be a shame to spend all that time uh, doing a picture and uh, then not putting it on the wall. Yeah. Sorry, I've got Millie sniffing under the door now. Maybe somebody's got a barbecue. I know she's uh, having a good hoof <laughs> under the door at the moment. Okay, so that's box one finished. So we'll get box two out. Oh, excuse me while I just lean across and get box two. Okay, sorry for the row. Right, so which one are we after? 839. 839 is a very dark brown colour. So it's part of the giraffes shading. Sorry, I know they're called giraffes, but I don't like to call them giraffes. <laughs> And the next one's 840, so that's the next one along. And this is a bit lighter brown, a bit of fawny brown colour. I've got those in there. And these labels are coming off really well. There's my little Zion sticker maker to put those on. It's 840. And 841. So yeah, they've really put these into colour families as they've been doing them and as you're doing it you sometimes think well that shade looks exactly the same but then when you look at it in a really good daylight you do see that they are a different colour they are a different shade and um, one of the greens that I was putting down I thought well that is an identical green to that one but uh, then when I looked at it the next day in daylight it uh, wasn't and then we've got 842 so we're really yeah going along with these colours right uh, the way along Oops, I'll take that off in a second. Oh, let's put that one. Make sure it goes in the right space. Say so not having nails is a nuisance, but what I've done is take them right back down. Um, and then I'm going to grow them from basically nothing and try and get them um, good quality. Well looked after from nothing. What's that? 890? Oh, I'm looking at 899. No wonder it's the wrong colour. No. <laughs> 890. Yeah, I just thought if I uh, basically start from scratch and grow them as a good condition, it might work. Um, again, the heavy sniffing and breathing isn't me, it is Millie. She's got a nose under the dark and... <laughs> 
998 nearly top of the shop let's see if you're not quite sure of the number if you have a look at the colour if you've already got it you can more or less see that yeah that's the right colour okay that one put away rattling through these and the next one is 907 907 oh this is the lovely green. I really like this green we have a supermarket here and they used to have their shirts in this colour. <laughs> and uh, the uh, kids, when they were younger, used to have trainers this colour as well. So, yeah, one of the favourite colours, an alien green, we used to call it. So that's 938. 938. Nine, 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 yeah. When uh, the kids were about the age of coming into teenagers uh, it was just the x-files that was on was big on the television and uh, we were quite into aliens we we're all mad on the x-files never missed an episode three three seven one it's a long time ago now oh, that only feels five minutes <laughs> okay three three one see i did find my one of these i'd lost i think if you watched one of my previous videos i knew i had two of these little cases and i couldn't find that one of them i have found it now so i can kit up a couple at a time uh, three eight six six Put that in the next one and then oh yeah five two hundred so that one done. that's box two so let's have a look in box three. Okay, so that's three, eight, six, six. Ooh, it's the last one before B5200. Okay, so top of the shop, as it were. Okay, lots of different colours in that one as well. Uh, as I said before, you do get different dye lots and different colours uh, from manufacturers and even from the same manufacturer you can sometimes get two different dye lots. But when it's spares, you're going to more or less get the colour that you do need. Okay, and then lastly, the uh, B5200, which is your bright white, which is a wonderful colour. Great for snow and highlights and things. And that was all round the edge on this one. But I escapee in there but never mind you can stay with the white party okay so that's that one done so that's that case completely empty now ready for fitting up the next one so we've done that one and put that in the bin out of the way put that one out of the way still working on my specials in there out of the way over there and that's giraffe all put away and ready to be hung and ready for the next one okay i hope you've uh, enjoyed this little chat and seeing the review of our little giraffes and uh, i hope to see you in the next video so thanks for watching bye for now